Hello at Excel students, the five mark question. You're going to get a five mark question in this kind of style in paper one, in paper two, and in paper three. This five marker is simply a KAA question, no evaluation necessary here whatsoever. In paper one and paper two, it's going to come in section B, most likely the very first question. In section B will be a five marker. In paper three, it's going to come both in section A and in section B. Most likely both sections are going to start with a five marker there. Now you need to look out for what you need to do in this five marker. It can come in a variety of different styles. Uh, it could be an explain question. It could be an explain using a diagram question. It could be a calculate question. It can come in a variety of ways, but remember, it will never need any evaluation. So it can only ever be really these kind of questions. Uh, if it's a calculate question, it's super easy. You've got to make sure that you show all your working. That includes all the equations that you might be using. Uh, you've also got to make sure that you look out for units when you write an answer. So if a chart, let's say, has been scaled down, you've got to make sure your answer is correct, maybe in hundreds of thousands or in millions, for example. You've got to make sure that you put in percentages. You've got to put in kilograms, let's say. You've got to put in a dollar sign, let's say, if the answer is in dollars or in pounds or something. So watch out for your units, not to lose silly marks with the calculation there. Right. If it's an explain question, you've got to make sure that you hit certain key things in your answer. So for knowledge marks, definitions are often an easy way to get knowledge marks or identification of factors. It depends what the question is asking for. Uh, but that's the way to get knowledge marks there. Application. Use the extract material, whether it's paper one, whether it's paper two, whether it's paper three, you'll always have extract material to help you. That's where you get your application from. So look to nail your application using the extract material. And then for this explain question, you need analysis. Make sure you explain things clearly. Look for chains of analysis to make sure that your analysis, your depth of explanation is perfect. Right, what about for explain using a diagram question? Well again, definitions, perhaps, perhaps it's definitions, maybe again it's identification of a shift, right, on a diagram. So maybe it's definitions, maybe not, maybe it's just literally identifying a shift, so a reason why the curve is shifted, for example. Application in the same way as we've just mentioned, and analysis. Now analysis is how you refer to the diagram, how you explain your diagram. You've got to make sure that absolutely everything on your diagram has been explained. Why has this curve shifted? Refer to the shift. Why has there been an increase in price on a micro diagram, for example, or an increase in price level um, on a macro diagram, for example? Why is there an increase in real GDP? Or what's happened to unemployment on a macro diagram? Why is there an increase in output? Refer to it. So everything on the diagram needs to be explained. And you also need to make sure that your diagram is accurate. There can't be any issues on the diagram. Maybe it means applying on the diagram. That could be a clever thing to do if you've got figures. You know, you can actually apply on the axis there. Instead of just saying price, you know, price of oil, for example. That could be a clever way of showing off some good knowledge on the diagram too. So if it asks you to use a diagram, it's got to be perfect. They won't expect massive detail, but you've just got to make sure everything on the diagram is explained. That covers these very simple five markers in paper one, two, and three. Go out there, smash it. I'll see you in the next video.